Hi, in this video I would like to show you how you can generate Word, PDF or Excel documents based on the document templates using N8N workflow and Documentero platform. Let's get started. So here I have a simple workflow. Uh, I will add a new action. I will pick Documentero node and I can pick one of the two actions, generate document and generate document and send a similar attachment. For now we'll pick the first one. And here we have to configure uh, our documentary node, which will generate documents for us based on the templates. So before I can proceed, I have to establish the connection between N8N and my documentary account. I have to create a credentials. So here I clicking on the create new credential and I need to provide the API key. So I can retrieve the API key from my documentary account settings. I already created a simple account, so this is a homepage and I can just click on your account here in this top right corner and copy the API key from this uh, area back to the NIDEN node configuration. Okay, once I save it, I have a connection ready. Uh, now I can uh, select the template and add some data for the document generation. So before I proceed with this, I need to create a new template in the documentary platform. So let's go back to the documentary platform. Here I have like this panel on the right side in the documents view. So I can create the template with online editor or upload the template in one of these two formats. So for now, we'll just create the template online just to make it quicker. As you can see, um, this is a sample template, so I can do some quick modification. Uh, I can see some dynamic fields being binded here, name, country, city, age. Uh, there is also some section that is conditional. There is a, a repeatable section of products that could repeat with different properties. So for now we'll keep this sample template as is and create it here just to show you how it works all together. So let me name it like this. Okay, cool. I have a template uh, processed and it's ready for the generation. So. As you can see, I can click on the template name and I can see the template overview. So all the detected fields are here. I can decide on the output format. It will be PDF. And I can also modify the output file name to, to customize it with some dynamic fields. So let me put something like um, my very important document and the name field will be part of the file name so i can save it here and this is a uh, like a json definition of the data that is expected to be passed to document to generate this document so let's go back to n8n configuration and here i already connected my documentary account with n8n so i can retrieve the new template list here as you can see, my freshly created template is on this list, so I can pick it up. Okay, and once it's picked, I can just provide a JSON data here in this part. So just to make it easier for me, I can go back to Documentero template overview. I can copy the initial schema and paste it back here. Okay. Cool, I think I have everything ready to generate my PDF document. I can customize some stuff here. Uh, let me put some values just to show you that it works all together. Mm. Okay, I can also mm, Bind some expressions here from like like previous steps. So let me let me just for now a 
so let me put for example John and the date for the for the name so here I have like all the all the required structure by this document template binded here and I can click execute step and as you can see uh, the workflow is executed and I have like my document freshly created this is in binary format so you can pass it to the next steps you can I don't know you can send it to the email you can upload this to Google Drive to OneDrive uh, you can do whatever you want the next steps with it and you can also um, use the data from 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 any data source from AI from uh, any note you want for populating the template itself. Documentero also supports HTML and Markdown formatting, uh, so you can you can bind and do all this stuff here. So as the result, you will get a PDF file. As you can see, the file name is 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 also set accordingly. So 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 I can click on this and I can review it. So you can see all the data. Uh, all the data binded correctly here in this output template and you can also like do what you want with this folder so high level i would say that would be it uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask uh, in the comment section and that would be it thank you